Uh, we, we're gonna play an A major form now. Which we already... Okay, so... Same thing, you know, if we pretended that we needed to press down to get the open strings to play an A major chord, it would look like this. So we got that A form. The open A string is the root. So now using that shape, um, we can find our root on the A string and then plug in that A major shape. And whatever that root is, is going to uh, give us that major chord. So just notice the A shape has the A root. So if I said, okay, let's take that A form and we want to play a C major chord. Uh, well, we can find C on the A string. It's right here, third fret of the A string. And I'm going to bar it and then use my ring finger to play the fifth fret of the D, G, and B. And the high E is muted. Or not played, or not strummed. shape all around so let's do this now let's play let's just pick a, a chord with this form an E major we want to play an E major chord so if you saw on a chart lyric sheet whatever it says E and we want to use the A form to play an E major chord the roots right there on the seventh fret of the A and then we're gonna play this A major shape and here we go so that's an E major chord So let's backtrack a minute and play an E major chord with the C form as well and just see how they're relating to each other. I put my pinky there instead of my index and now I have this kind of like lower registered uh, chord. The other form, the A form. See that? Now let's do this. Let's play a regular open E. Then we'll play the C form. And then now let's play the A form. All the same chord. So the, right off right off the bat, as I say that a lot, you know, you could have your, you know, one guitar player is going. You know, if he's doing something like that. go, okay, well, I'm not going to do the same thing. I'm going to do something with this C form that I've been practicing so diligently with Marty's DVDs. Or strum it, whatever, but you're playing a different voicing. Okay? Um, it's also good, you know, with where we're at so far in this in this uh, in this series of lessons is that, you know, you can, if you're just, let's say you have a song you're working on and you're just, uh, you know, you know, you, you're on E for a while. I mean, this is just a simple example. You could switch between the two to just get different, you know, colors like. I mean, it goes on and on, but this is just in the very beginning of, of what we're learning here. And you can see, you know, there's the more knowledge you have, the more, um, you know, combined with your creativity, you can, uh, you know, come up with your, you know, more of a unique style. So, just to recap, 
uh, we've used the C form and moved it up and down the neck like this. And the next letter in that word caged would be A. So then we have the A form of things. You know, to play the A shape of E. You know, the A shape of any chord, you find the root on the A string. So here's E. And that plug in that A major shape. Just like that. And now we're moving that A shape all around. Uh, you know, knowing the C and the A form so far, once you get a progression going, now you're, you're, you know, multiplying your options of what chord to play as opposed to just open chords. Okay. So obviously that next form is going to be the G. We're going to, you know, talk about that and have to kind of learn an, another new kind of way to put our fingers together. But don't worry. There's, uh, I'm just showing you the meat and potatoes. There's going to be a lot of cool tricks that will be really actually easier than some of the, like the C shape and this new G shape. There's going to be some things that are actually easier to do as we move, as we progress along. So stay tuned. G form is next.